Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported the files needed for this project, you can download them from the below link in the description. Now let's start with creating our product promo, first create a new composition. We will name this as glitch product. Here we will set width and height to 1080 pixels. Time duration to 10 seconds. Now let's add the product image to timeline. You can scale the product image if needed. Let's pre-compose this image. Name it as product. Perfect. From project panel, add the grid1 media file to timeline. For product composition. Change track mat to alpha mat grid 1. Perfect. Let's add product composition to timeline. Now add grid 2 media file to timeline. Here we will place both the grid and product composition at distance of 10 frames. For product, change track mat to Alpha Mat Grid 2. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In Effects and Preset, search for Wave Warp. Add it to Adjustment Layer. At 2 seconds. For Wave Warp, change Wave Type to Noise. Create keyframe for wave height. Change wave height to zero. Now create keyframe for wave width. Change wave width to 250. Now add 10 frames. Change wave height to 30. Change wave width to 2500. You can see the preview. Let's change the direction to 180 degrees. Here our glitch product reveal is created. Now let's create our glitch product info. Create another composition. Here I will name it as glitch text. Width and height to 1080 pixels, time duration 10 seconds. Here we need to add our text. First we will add our product name. Here you can select any font of your choice, here I will be using Unisans font family. Perfect. Here if you want you can adjust the text position and adjust the font size. Now let's animate this text layer. In animate, select tracking. In range select a 1. Add 1 second, create keyframe for offset, change offset to 100%. At start, change offset to minus 100%. In advanced, change shape to ramp up. Change randomize order on. 
Random seed to 50. Now let's add property, opacity. Change opacity to 0%. Now let's add, property, scale. Change scale to 130%. Place anchor point to center. Now add, property, character offset. Set character offset to 15. You can see the preview. Similarly, we need to add 8 to 9 text layers, which include product descriptions. Best and easy ways to create a duplicate and replace the text. Here you can change color or add fill effect for text layer, to set the text color of your choice. Here I will fast forward this. Perfect. Now we need to arrange them on timeline to reveal them one by one. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create our final composition, name it as product promo. Set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. For this composition, from project panel, add grid 3 media file to timeline. For grid 3, set opacity to 30%. Scale it to 110%. Now add the texture image file to the timeline. For texture image, set opacity to 30%. Scale it to 110%. For texture, change mode to overlay. Now add flare media to timeline. For flare, change mode to overlay. 
set opacity to 60%. If you want to change the flare color, you need to add tint effect. Search for tint. Add it to flare media file. Here you can set any color of your choice for this flare media file. Now from project panel, let's add glitch product composition to timeline. Place it on the other side. Here you can scale this composition according to your requirement. Here if you want you can place the product at start, or you can adjust its position on the timeline. Now let's add the glitch text composition to timeline. Position the product at start. And place the glitch text at 1 second. Text will be revealed after the product is revealed. Let's scale this composition. Position it as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for gradient ramp, add gradient ramp to adjustment layer. Here you need to set start and end color as shown. Ramp shape to radial ramp. Adjust ramp position. Set ramp scatter to 300. For adjustment layer, set opacity to 30%. Change mode to screen. Now let's change composition and layers to 3D. Create a new camera layer. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. At start create keyframe for position, at end of the timeline. Change position to near about minus 250. Change flare scale value to 110%. Create a new adjustment layer. Search for curves. Add it to adjustment layer. Adjust curves as shown. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Similarly, you can create multiple product compositions and create your product promotion video. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.